Blairsville, it's Sarah here with the Chamber of Commerce and we have a treat for you today and I mean that literally as well as figuratively. We are joined today, we're at Papa's Barbecue and Trading Post, which if you're heading north out of town, down 129, you're going to hang a left on 325 and it is the second barbecue stop and it's the stop where you're going to see the smoke and that is because Papa smokes his barbecue mm -hmm. and it's better i'm just going to tell you right off the bat this is some good barbecue we live just around the corner from here and so we stop and eat here quite a bit it's convenient and it's delicious so we are joined today by papa and debbie johnson and they are the owners of papa's they've been doing this for eight years locally here in blairsville mm -hmm. and finally decided to join the chamber of commerce become a member and they want to let the world know exactly what they're doing so tell us about your barbecue how do you treat that meat? Well, we make our own uh, rub and everything like that, and to put it on there, and we smoke it for so long, uh, about three hours or so, and we finish cooking it. It's a natural cook, so it's juicy and moist, and uh, seem, people seem to love it. People do indeed love it. We, you make addicts out of us. Right. Yeah. So, and and you, you're his sidekick. You're in the, you're in there. You're serving up the food. You're often, you can be found sewing. You did a lot of masks for the community oh, in yes. the initial wake of COVID. You were one of our primary mask makers, which was a big deal. And yeah. you actually stitched y'all's aprons and masks <laughs> that you're wearing now. If you pop into Papa's Trading Post, tell us a little bit about what they're gonna find inside the store. Okay, inside the store, you're gonna see um, the rockers, the Amish rockers, and we've got the local honeys and uh, ciders and we have intentions on bringing in the Amish jams and jellies and rolled butter. Then we have um, the Amish furniture. We're going to bring in more of it. Then over on my crafty side is going to be uh, card making and quilting and just a woman's cape. Cave, a she cave. I love that. A she That's perfect. Cave. Yes. <laughs> so Papa has a smokehouse and she has the sewing room. And I'll get, I'm just going to get Ashley to pan around and let y'all kind of see. If you want to see some material, this lady has got more material. This is like a haven if you are a quilter. So you, if you're a quilter, you definitely want to stop in here. That's not a lost art. That is a resurging art. People are really yes. getting into that now. And yes getting into the hand quilting. brother-in-law moved back from, he was raised here, he moved back from Kennesaw just a couple of years ago. And we have made him an addict. He loves your smoked wings. You do more than just barbecue sandwiches. What mm -hmm. else do y'all do? We do the smoked wings, we do the chopped chicken, do brisket, uh, we do the loin baby back ribs. And my wife, she does all the side, potato salad, the coleslaw, the pineapple baked bean and we do Brunswick stew, and we also do a southern hash that you do with over cornbread or rice. That southern hash is something to talk about. And also, your potato salad is excellent. People love that potato salad. Very good. Now, so if they come in, let's talk about price point, because okay. sometimes you feel like you, you have to give up your child in order to eat a plate of barbecue, but y'all are right on point with price. How much do you charge for a sandwich and two sides? Go ahead. Ten dollars for the pulled pork, eleven okay. for the brisket, and the half rack of baby back ribs and two sides is sixteen fifty. And the half a half rack of baby back ribs and two sides and those ribs you can't even pick them up they just fall they're the, so tender the bone falls off. yes the bone falls right off. Steve's actually got we got President Steve here and he has his the sandwich he's just going to show you what it looks like the sandwich is massive you guys. There's so much pork on it, sometimes I don't even eat the bread, I just have the sandwich. Mm -hmm. And they can get the pork just plain, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You see the job I get to do? I get to display the food, and as you'll notice, there is plenty of meat on this sandwich. And I understand that they will allow you to take off your mask if you're eating, so. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, if you want just tender, moist, pulled pork, brisket, all the sides, or wings that literally just melt in your mouth when you bite into them, you definitely want to stop out at Papa's. Now, you're open during the winter, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, okay. 11 to 6. Yes. And those hours start with the time change, right? Yes. Don't forget yes. the time change, Liz. Well, that's this weekend. 
We spring forward and we fall backward. So, so next weekend, it will be 11 till 6. Okay, this weekend till 7. Yes. Next weekend till 6 o'clock. Yes. And listen. I have more sew time. <laughs> so she's going to be sewing through the winter. Papa is still going to be perfecting his dry rub. It's already perfect. But definitely come out. Tell them that you saw the Facebook Live with the Chamber. And enjoy some great barbecue here in Blairsville Union County. Thanks, Blairsville.